Welcome to grade 11 physics unit 1 review question 1 and 2. Bagana gan karabar nota physics kutau ta kafana gan uftan. So unit 1 review question number 1 and 2. La la ju arantana. So so baron to kan ni like share ki comment ko mu kan tagani cha. Karabar nota ta nya kara ka ti de su. Ah, they will you Review question number one. Number the question number one is describe each part of the scientific method. Explain why it is important to follow this structure when conducting a scientific investigation. Look at the answer. Okay, the answer is this. Ask a question may be based on an observation. The first step in scientific procedures is asking a question. That means after, after observation. So, so the first step is what observation. Observation use existing knowledge or do background researches so be considerant corona centro tab fayenta akasumas research why sinit work about dalida he to refer to that form a form a hypothesis so ya de shakki khan if want to kalal de bota samus ibsan um de chula Make a prediction from your hypothesis. Hypothesis is a prediction from your hypothesis. And also, design an experiment to test your hypo to test your predictions after you making hypothesis. Analyze your experimental data. Experimental data analyze good data. It will fit Then draw a conclusion. Yeah, that you are going to do it. Corona test and ipsum. Lab five test. Was your hypothesis correct? Hypothesis and tenti. Akat shakit seni mo. Akabret akanubrat ugami. Duga mo soba. Adasi asitiva atiba fatta. Samboda yo. So what you you got to what you can see what you got if not the young man versus form hypothesis irredeemed the hypothesis um die to her hypothesis dignity her at you once and yeah you read the lab that you you know I wasn't in this one for a time that they were considered that they construct a new hypothesis and repeat it you know you're ready to take you go you for the market day Kurata market ti yaren tenesu ni mil koi ti yo mo hypothesis tenesu kurata mana kene irra debite ni hypothesis hara umte kan hoju ti tuai tu irra debite. Okay, question number two. How many significant figures do the following numbers have? Look, two five eight zero point two two zero 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 then 0.084 look at the answer the answer was this number a is this three and also number b is two and also number c is 12 number d is four okay number three how can you reduce the percentage uncertainty in measurement that you make look at the answer using multiple measurements example 20 swings of a pendulum not just one reduce per percentage uncertainty can i forget that you okay number four nisha and melissa have measured the voltage across a resistor to be 5.26 volt and the current flowing through it is to be 0.41 ampere. 
they work out the resistance. Nissan, Nissan says that the resistance is 12.8 ohm. Malasa disagree and says that resistance is 13 ohm. Who is correct? Explain your answer. Okay. The answer is looks like this. The result should not be two more significant figure than the lowest number of significant figure in the readings and the readings. This, in this case, there is a measurement of 0.41 ampere to significant figure. So, Malasa is correct to give the answer as 13 oh. Okay, question number five. A bulb is connected as a part of a circuit. The following data is collected. Electric current 3.2A, then 0.1 ampere, potential difference 12.3 volt plus 0.1 volt. Use this data and this equation. Resistance is equal to potential difference over electric currents. To determine the resistance, express uncertainty in your answer. So the answer is looks like this. Okay, let us move to the answers to review question number two. Okay, number one, explain the meaning of the term error. Number two, describe different types of error. Give example and explain how the effect of disease errors might be reduced. Lucas going to be the answer. Look, number one. Explain the meaning of the term error. Lucas answer. An error is something that occurs as a part of your investigation that causes the reading to vary from the real value. So it's a correct answer for this question. Okay, number two. Describe different types of error, give example, and explain how the effect of this error might be reduced. Look at the answer. Random errors are errors with no pattern or bias. They cause measurements to vary in an unpredictable manner. Importantly, they cause the measurements to be sometimes above the accepted value sometimes below the accepted value. For example, if you were measuring the acceleration due to gravity, random errors will cause your reading to vary both above and below the accepted value. So, the use of a ruler for lens is not without its problem at times. If you wanted to measure the diameter of a table tennis ball, how might you do it? When the object and the scale lie at different distance from you, it is essential to review them from directly above you or to avoid the what we call parallax errors. Par parallax error. A systematic error is a type of error that shows a bias or a trend. It makes your reading is too high every time or too low every time. Taking repeated readings will not help account for this type of error. So, a simple example might be an ammeter that always read 0.4 ampere too low. So, if your reading was 0.6, 6.8 ampere, the true value for the current would be 7.2 ampere. More a complex examples include ignoring the effect of friction in Newton's second law experiments or not measuring to the center of mass of simple pendulum. So this is the end of our today's lesson. Until next lesson, goodbye.